What's up, YouTube? It's your man Gerard with DBK Mobile Detailing. Back with another video. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And smash that like button while right you there. And if you're not new to the channel, you're already part of the family. Welcome back. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Let's talk about it. It's fall. Hours changing, time going back, days getting shorter and the nights getting longer. So for my mobile detailers out there, what are we doing about that? How do we combat that situation? As you can see, I started out, it was already a little daylight, but the sun was setting. So I had to pull my lights out. I got two lights, two work lights two craftsmen work lights, one for the front and one for the back. And I don't know if y'all noticed or not, but I also got a bar light for the interior. And leave it in the comments. Let me know what y'all, what kind of lights do y'all use? What kind of setup do y'all have for y'all lights? Or do y'all just go out there and go at it in the dark? <laughs> I hope not. But either way, let me know. Excuse my angles too. I'm testing out this new. Well, it ain't new. I've been had it. I just ain't been using it. It's the vest strap for the for my camera. Trying this first person look out. So excuse me if you ain't getting the full view. But you get the gist of it. And as you can tell right here, I got the bar light up. No interior lights on or nothing. And you see how bright this light is. Definitely make it visible to see. One thing for certain, you gotta be sure when you're detailing somebody's car, you gotta be able to see what you're doing because what you don't see, the customer will see. So make sure that you got adequate light and you're able to see what you're doing. And that way you don't miss nothing. Another video on the McCulloch 1385 the steam on One thing I can say, so far I like it, but where this steamer really shines at, I'm telling you, it's steaming these seats and the carpets. This thing, this thing is a beast when it comes to it. Yeah, thumbs up. I say make sure you got adequate light so you can see because it's, it's no excuse like you're not gonna be able to 
to tell the customer, oh, I couldn't see this, or oh, it was dark, because if you out there working on that vehicle, the sun don't went down, they're expecting you to do the job as if the sun was still up. And go follow me on Instagram at dbk underscore mobile underscore detailing. And one thing I forgot to mention about these work lights I got. Get the ones that has the I can't think of it that, not the LEDs but it's the luminous lights for those of you that gotta plug it into the generator and you might have other equipment running those things as bright as they are the one in the front of the car is 9,000 luminous the one in the back is 3,000 and both of them together only drink maybe 150 not even 200 watts so Invest in those. Don't get the old school lights where they drink 1,500 watts and 2,000 watts just to light one light. You're gonna be stuff gonna be cutting off and you're gonna be running back and forth to the generator trying to restart it. Another thing, let me know how y'all dealing with the time going back. Are y'all rescheduling y'all customers? Are y'all making adjustments to your schedule to where you're getting off early? Or me personally, I don't schedule clients at night, but sometimes we do get caught in the dark. It gets dark while we out there working, and the job still got to get finished. And if you made it this far. Like I said, go ahead and subscribe to the channel where I'm going to be dropping new content and hit that like button. And as always, keep God first, be blessed, and stay prosperous. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm out.